Hi guys, welcome back. If you are looking for a bar workout that targets the inner and outer thighs without using any equipment, then this is the one for you. So if you are ready to do this one, just grab a chair. That's all you'll need for a little bit of balance. And even that is optional to be honest, but if you want that little assist, grab it and let's go. So if you are new around here, my name is Sarah. I do a lot of bar and Pilates workouts, um, some cardio, sometimes there's a little bit of yoga mixed in there. So if those are things that you like to see twice per week, just pop on down there, hit subscribe button really quick. And with that, we will get started with this bar workout for inner and outer thighs. So before we get into the main part of the workout, quick little warm up. Heels together, toes turned out. We're just gonna take a first position releve, so tucking in from every direction, heels lift up and slow release. Lift and release. So when you're releasing there, you're just lightly touching the heels down. We're not really spending a lot of time to like rest there exactly. And you wanna make sure that you're squeezing really tight from the tops of the legs, squeezing the glutes as well. We want to feel it all the way up into the glutes. Don't mind, <laughs> got a cat just over here. If, that's, if you hear the like shuffling sounds, Got a cat here on the table just doing a little two-step. Leo, you done? You done? <laughs> so yeah, make sure that knees are staying nice and straight here. Otherwise, you're barely gonna feel these. But if you're really like intent on what you're working, if you're really focused on the glutes and the inner thighs, you will definitely feel them just as we start to warm up here. Keep. Going, just a few more. He's still going. <laughs> now I don't mean keep going you, Leo. I'm not talking about you. Here's four. And three, drama. Two, last one. Good, go ahead, release. Legs straight here still with the left leg. You're just going to do a lift, slide back in, out to the side. So we do one in the first, and one to second. Torso doesn't move. We're sliding through center here, leading with the heel as we go forward. So heel should always be visible to the front. There's another cat here, this is a different one. It's cat chaos. Cat chaos, cat pandemonium. The only one who's behaving is Luna, <laughs> of course. <laughs> who's just sitting like next to the camera. Luna is the best behaved. Last one here. Good, and bring it down. We're gonna pop up to that releve again and we're just gonna pulse it here. So keep legs straight, keep butt squeezed tight, abs in, and we're just pulsing our little hearts out. While cat chaos continues. What can you do? Here's four, three, two, one, heels down, other side. So same thing, we're just gonna do one little lift in front, slide through center, out to the side. Leo. More cat drama. They're usually not this chaotic. I don't know, it is meant to start raining soon, so maybe they're like sensing an atmospheric change and it's making them hit their chaos harder this morning. Because yeah, normally they should be, if not sleeping at this time, winding down in that direction. Hey buddy. One more in either direction here, and side. And then from here, just make sure you have a little space to our side, because we're gonna step to one side, Wide second position, place, sink into the hips, press back up, other side. Just 10 of these, this is the last little part of our warm up, coming up through center, hips even. He's probably crying because he wants to go outside and I've shut the door. Here's two, 
and one, just stay here on this last one, hands in your thighs, and you're just gonna sink down nice and low, have a little wiggle around there, just opening up the hips, twist to one side, so pushing opposite leg, whoo, back away from you, and then twist toward the other side, and come back through center, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, feet all the way in, and roll back up, and we'll get into it. So this is where you will need your chair for a little bit of balance, not so much the first exercise, but as we get into it. So feet are wide here, toes pointing out. We're just gonna start with the second position, wide second position plie. Whatever you wanna do with that outside hand, I don't mind. But we slide down, squeeze back up. So a few things to think about as you are doing these. Again, we always want to control with the butt and the inner thighs. So that's what we should be squeezing, that's what we should be engaging. Also thinking of tucking the abs in tight, that just helps with the butt. <laughs> so the tighter the abs are, the more the butt can do what it needs to do, which is great for us. So as you're coming up here, don't think of it as a straightening of the knees. I often see people think like, well, bend, straighten, bend, straighten. And that's really not what is happening here. It's really about the butt squeezing really tight and inner thighs drawing together. Keep going. I think we've got a little bit of a break from cat chaos maybe. We'll see. I have a feeling it's because it's supposed to rain. Because yeah, sometimes these sorts of things. You know, animals really have like a sixth sense about stuff like that. Four more here. Shoulders soft, posture is beautiful, tailbone tucked. And on this next one, stay down, and we're gonna do some heel lifts. So whichever heel is outside right now, you're gonna lift. Now inside heel lifts, we go down outside, down inside. So it'll be a lift, lift, lower, lower. Height is not changing. So you're pausing in each of those heel lifts. Don't rush it. If anything, you can push a little bit lower here. Still keeping tailbone tucked. Few more. And it's just generally chaos around here right now. Last one, keep both heels up. Outside heel, we're gonna lower, lift. Lower, lift. Inside heel stays up. Yeah, hopefully you can't hear too much of my partner. He's outside right now working. Um, and he has what you might call a booming voice. I told him to pipe it down. I did. But I honestly feel as if he's like, he's a little unaware of like how booming it is. So he is outside with the door shut. That's why the door shut to outside. Um, but I feel like you can still hear him. <laughs> oh my God. Ay, ay, ay. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Here's four, three, two, last one. And then you're gonna keep that outside heel down and we're pulsing here. So inside heel is lifted. We're opening wide through both legs, low and slow. Nice, long set of pulses. Delightful, delightful. So yeah, you can always press up and wider. You can always tuck tailbone in more. Both of those two things will just engage more of inner and outer thighs, which um, is the theme of this workout. So yeah, always do more. Now the ladies are here just crunching away on their breakfast. It's just a, there's just a lot going on right now. If you guys have watched some of my recent videos and knew that I had a sourdough starter, I can give you an update on Eleanor. That's my first sourdough starter. I made her a friend Arthur, so now there are two of them that are a little bit different in their composition. A few more here. Here's three, two, one. Now pop up that side heel. We're pulsing both heels up. Um, so yeah, I was a little bit worried about Eleanor, 
last we chatted. Eleanor is back. She's better than ever. I looked into it. No problem at all. She was just a little bit hungry, so I needed to add in another feeding. But it's true what everybody had been saying, which is that the sourdough starters are actually incredibly forgiving. She bounced back like nothing ever happened. She's doing great. We've started using her a little bit. Um, not for bread though, because bread, you do have to wait like a full month before the, star the starter will be strong enough. So we're not quite bread ready yet, but we will get there. And I'm so excited for that when it happens. A few more here. And last one, Whoop, release, step back and give the legs a little shake out here. And now we're gonna be working from a first position. So heels together, toes turned out, tailbone tucked, outside leg, you're gonna be lifting forward, little pulse, bring it back in. So lift, a little extra lift, bring it in. Make sure that you're not leaning the torso back away from it. So really engage the lower abs, press chest, slightly forward while keeping shoulders open and think inner thigh forward. So knees should be turned out a little bit to the side. So yeah, sourdough starter, it's happening. It's so great, it's so satisfying, though I am out of food for the sourdough starter. So I need to like figure that out. It's just this morning, I won't be able to do the feed. And like I say, they can be a little bit hungry and they'll bounce back but I need to get spelt flour. <laughs> That's what I run out of because Eleanor is a blend of equal parts wholemeal wheat and spelt and Arthur is just spelt. So Arthur is gonna be real hungry in a second. But they're getting like that nice like sourdoughy smell to them. So satisfying. So yeah, all we've made so far with Eleanor's pancakes um, and they were good. And then on my agenda, I've got sourdough brownies and sourdough English muffins. So that's my vision for the next weekend. Last one here, keep it up and you're just gonna pulse, pulse. So just those little tiny pulses, squeeze the supporting glute nice and tight. Keep this knee straight. It should not be bending. We will be bending it shortly, but for this exercise, it stays straight. Keep going. Maybe getting a little shake. I'm getting a little shake on. If not, bring it higher. Keep it slower, more controlled. Here's four, three, two, one. Now keep it up. We're gonna bend. You can touch your standing knee. This knee opens up to the side. Extend, so touch. Extend. Like I said before, in the warm up, heel should always be visible to the front here. So the extension is just going to be basically in line with your hip. As we bend in, you can open that knee though just a little bit wider. Feels good. I love, uh, I love an inner thigh workout. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's a special feeling. It's a feeling I like. I'm guessing if you guys are here doing it with me, you might enjoy that feeling also. Quite possibly. All right, I think the cats are, I think they're settling down now for their long winter's nap. Just kidding, it's nowhere near winter in Madrid. I cannot, I truly cannot. I know I've been like banging on about this for a while, but I truly cannot. It's still summer here. It's. It's unacceptable. That's it. It's just, it's just unacceptable. A few more here. Like, I haven't stopped wearing shorts. I, I know I'm wearing leggings right now, but that was because I looked back over like all my last videos. I was like, I can't wear shorts in video again. Last one here, little tiny ones, bend, extend. Hold each extension. Knee is still open to the side here. We're still pushing heel forward. So yeah, I was like, nope, we gotta do leggings. But I could easily be wearing shorts right now. I wore shorts yesterday. Will I wear shorts today? Maybe, <laughs> probably. It's still so hot here. We haven't even had like a hint of autumn. Like I say, it's supposed to start raining this afternoon. So maybe this will be autumn. Fingers crossed, I can't. 
Like, I'm losing my mind. I am so sick of summer. So, so sick of it. Here's four, three, two, one. Release, give it a little shake off. All right, should be feeling juicy there. We're gonna just flip sides here. So you can just either turn around at your chair or move it as I just did. And we're doing all that on the second side. So wide second position, plie here. We're just going down, squeeze the butt to come up. So knees tracking wide. Back should be as if you were just sliding down a wall here with every part of your spine, touching it equally, tailbone to shoulders. So if you are currently actually experiencing autumn, just know I'm so jealous. I talked to my best friend the other day. She is in Wisconsin and uh, it had snowed that morning and I was just like, stop, <laughs> stop. <laughs> like, I mean, that is early. I feel like that is early for a snow. I don't know if you're in a place where it snowed all already, let me know. Like, is it early? I feel like it's a little early in the season, mid-October. I don't know, <laughs> but like the idea of snow, just to break up the monotony of this endless summer, like please, please, can I have it? Can I experience that? What's it like to feel cold? I don't know, it's been a while. It's been a while since I experienced cold. I'd very much like to though. Here's two, you're gonna stay down on one, and we're doing those heel lifts. So outside heel, inside heel, now we go down and down. So up, up, down, down. So you should be leading with the opposite side of what you did in the first round. I guess one advantage of endless summer is that, hey, we're saving on a heating bill because who knows when we're ever gonna be turning the heat on. Although, my prediction, this would be very Madrid, this would be peak Madrid, and kind of like some other people are speculating this also, is that we just totally bypass autumn and we go straight into winter. Just no autumn, we just go summer to winter. Last one here, and then outside heel, we're gonna lower, lift. Inside heel stays lifted. So, we will still get all the joy of high heating bills, but with none of the delight of autumn. And like even, it's not even like autumn colors around here. Like if you were to walk around Madrid right now, you would never guess that it was autumn anywhere in the world. You'd be like, okay, cool, summer. We're in summer. <sighs> yeah, used to love it used to be all about that constant summer life. No more, no more. I just got tired of being hot. Here's two, last one. We're gonna leave outside heel down. Oh, we're pulsing it here, which is the inside heel lifted. Push that inside heel forward. That's gonna help turn out the legs. Also tailbone tight or tucked, tailbone tucked, abs tight. There we go. There we go. That's the one. It's truly chaos this morning. Now I can hear the construction starting on our street. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Basically the theme of my week slash the theme of my last two years has been, when can I leave the city? Is it time to leave the city yet? Are we ready to leave the city? How about now? Are we right now? That's been the theme of my last like two years, but it's really like kicked up this week. I'm just like, I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'll go tomorrow. Like Madrid is a beautiful city. Don't get me wrong, beautiful city. If you're a city person, great for you. <laughs> a lot of people are, it is not for me. This, this is not what I am after. Like it has been for me. When I was younger, like 10 years ago, I was like, this is awesome. I could never live outside the city. I will live in Madrid forever and ever. And now I'm like, no, no, no. City, no. A few more here. Here's two, one. I'm sorry, it's back again. Both heels up, pulse it here. Low and slow. 
But yeah, if the city is for you, awesome. Carry on as you were. I would very much just like to have like a little bit of nature. I want to be out, and by a little bit, I mean actually a lot. I want to be out in nature. I don't want the sounds of the city. I don't want the smells of the city. I don't want the pollution of the city. I don't want the light pollution of the city. Uh, all of those things <laughs> I can do without. But for now, we are where we are. And the cats are loving life. Little Spanish cats. Keep pulsing here. The second round of pulses. How about it? Give me four, three, two, one. Whoop, heels down. There we go, give it a little shake out. Set feet in, so heels together. We've got that first position series here. Outside leg, we're gonna lift, little pulse, release back in. So lift, lift, slow release down. Make sure you're not just letting it fall down. It should be slow and controlled. Oh my goodness, like is he shouting out there? I'm really complaining today, I'm sorry you guys. <laughs> you caught me on a bad morning. I'm not always this way. So, don't be alarmed, feel free to return. I should just get back to my sourdough starter. Things that, things that lift my mood. Eleanor and Arthur, best sourdough starters ever. No, they're not the best yet, but they will be. They're really good, I think. For like the stage they're at, they look like some solid sourdough starters. But as they age, they will only get better. A few more here. See, instant mood lifter, sourdough. Who doesn't love sourdough? And last one, keep it up, and we're just gonna keep pulsing. So that knee is straight, keep it turned open to the side. If that means the leg needs to go a little lower, let it go a little lower. But you should be controlling it there. So don't just make it a hip motion where it's just like blah, 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 bouncing up and down. Control it, it's a lift, hold, slow release. Lift, hold, slow release. You're releasing because you're intentionally releasing, not because it's just releasing on its own. Little bit more, give me five, four, three, two, remember we keep it up on one, we're gonna bend in so you can touch your standing knee, open this knee, extend, so bend it in, extend, inner thigh to the ceiling, and because this one is nice and dynamic, you might find that with each extension, you can actually go a little bit higher, possibly. But height is kind of the third thing we're going for. Before height, we want turnout and we want length. So those two things first, if you've got the full extension and the turnout, hey ho, go for some height. The next great frontier. Four more. Here's four. And then don't forget we have those little mini baby ones to finish out this side. Whoo! Last one. Keep it long, little tiny ones. Still with that turnout. And really, you could do this series without a chair and just use your own balance. Um, but our little finale, which is actually quite short after this, you will probably want a chair. Again, you could do it. You could do this whole thing without a chair. You could. Would you want to? I don't know. Maybe. Here's four, three, two, one. Release. There we go. Give it a little shake out. I'm going to move my chair just in front here because we're going to be doing a first position plie 
facing in toward chair. So just make sure you're not too close to it because we are gonna be doing a little in and out with, well, nah, you're fine. So <laughs> first position your heels here, pop heels up, slide down, tailbone tucked, press back up, squeezing the butt. So inhale, drop like you're sliding down a wall, exhale, back up. It's a really short finale. I just wanted to make sure that we finish here with both sides working together because those unilateral exercises are really good for building strength equally. But I don't know, if I finish with a unilateral exercise, I almost feel like, in some ways I feel a little off balance. So I like to just bring everything back together to finish it. A few more here. Big squeeze of the butt at the top, like you're cracking an egg in there. Here's two. Abs tight, one, we're gonna drop down and we're just gonna press a little pulse, legs back, back, back. Tailbones tucked, keep these small. So it's not a pulse in then out, it's just out. That's it, just out. Shoulders down and relaxed. Abs are not relaxed, they should be very much engaged on these. Here's four, three, two, keep it back on one, last 20 pulses here. So just pulse, keep the legs open to that widest position we just found. This should be a little bit unbearable, but it's our burnout. <laughs> it's our burnout, we're done after this. So you don't really need to like save any reserve in the tank. Maybe you're doing our workout. If you're doing our workout after this, I'd probably leave. <laughs> the inner and outer thighs alone, and maybe focus on something else. <laughs> Here's five, four, three, two, one. Stretch up, release heels down, give it a little shake out. All right, we'll give it a super quick stretch here, so just take the feet wide, toes point forward, find a forward fold there, and you're just gonna take a little lunge, one side to the other, weight back in the heels. <clears throat> These always feel so good. Lunges all day, every day. Yep, yep, yep. Last one there, and straighten. Just go all the way into that forward fold, give the hips a little shake out. Heel toe feet. Do, 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 do. Back to hip distance. Roll up, cross one ankle over opposite knee. You can hold on to something here for stabilization. Sit back into it if you want. If it feels okay for the knee, you can lift it all the way up to the hip there. And switch sides. And press up, release, give it a little shake out. And that is us done. So if you guys enjoy working in and out of thighs as much as I do, be sure to give this video a like so I know that you wanna see more of this. While you are there, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can come back Mondays and Thursdays through the end of the year. We're gonna be getting festive soon, even if we are in perpetual summer here. And finally, if you have any special requests for things you would like to see, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys soon, bye.